Hello, how are you today? I'm Moses, I teach and I make art. Are you ready to make some art together? Have you heard of the animal gibbon before? It looks like a monkey but belongs to the ape family. Our local artist Mr Chen Wen-si loves painting gibbons. He would spend hours looking at gibbons and then drawing them in different poses. Here's one of his paintings. Don't these gibbons look lively? What do you think they will do next? I imagine them swinging from branch to branch, playing, eating and perhaps making a lot of noise. Let's make a gibbon that can move. These are the materials we'll need. A piece of paper, even a recycled one will do. A pair of scissors, glue or tape, a hole puncher, eight paper fasteners or breads. If you do not have paper fasteners or puncher, we can use needle and thread too. It'll be good to have an adult around if you are using this. And finally, colouring materials like paint, brush and colour pencils. First, we'll cut the parts that we need. We will be using geometric shapes like ovals and rectangles. Let's cut a small rectangle for the body. If we take a look at the gibbon's arm, it can be divided into two parts. And each part is as long as the body. With the hand and the foot, forms an L shape too. We will need four long and narrow rectangles and four L shapes that are as long as the body. And finally, we will cut an oval for the head. Next, we are ready to add some colours. When I take a closer look at Mr Chen Wen-si's gibbons, I notice that he has painted fine lines that look like fur. Isn't that a good idea? We can paint a light brown first and then use colour pencils to draw the fur on top when the paint is dry. Now that the parts are cut and painted, we are ready to put them together. We will punch some holes where we want to fix the fasteners. We will fix the fasteners and then stick on the head. If you are using needle and thread, this is what you can do. Do remember to have an adult help you with this. First, you will pierce the holes first. Thread the needle, tie a knot at the end, pull it through the two holes we want to join, and tie a knot on top. Do be careful with the sharp point of the needle. Now we have a poseable gibbon. We can take a photo or draw pictures and pose our gibbon on top of it. We can even take our gibbon out for a walk and take photos. Yes, of course, we can use our gibbon to help us draw gibbons in different poses. If our gibbon was feeling happy or sad, how will it move? What kind of facial expression will our gibbon have 
it was feeling sad, angry, or happy. If we want to draw other animals or human being, can we make something similar to help us? I hope you've enjoyed our time together and it has given you some wonderful ideas as well. Come by the National Gallery Singapore. You can find many other artworks with animals in them. Bye-bye!